Hello folks, my name is Victoria and I'm a host at the Ontario Science Centre. It's that time of year where nature is starting to look a little more colourful. So today we'll be discussing why leaves change colours and fall off trees in autumn. We'll also learn how to preserve leaves together in a fun activity. The colours of leaves in autumn can be stunning, but why do they suddenly appear? And how does adding wax to a leaf help to preserve it? Let's explore these questions. Chlorophyll is a pigment that makes leaves green. It is also responsible for allowing leaves to transform sunshine and carbon dioxide in the air into sugars, which gives energy for the trees. There are two other chemical compounds part of the same family as chlorophyll that also produce pigments or colors in leaves. They are known as carotenoids, which produce yellows and oranges, as well as flavonoids that also produce yellows. Together, all three of these chemical compounds play a part in allowing leaves to produce sugars. Leaves produce chlorophyll in huge quantities during warm temperatures of the spring and summer. As a result, the green totally overwhelms the color contributions of the carotenoids and flavonoids, which give us many, many green leaves and trees over those months. As summer turns to autumn, the amount of daylight decreases and the trees begin preparing for winter. This means that the amount of chlorophyll produced slows down as does the production of sugar. This allows for the other pigments to become more visible and is the reason we see a beautiful range of colors in autumn. Did you know the bright reds, purples, and magenta colored leaves are a result of a different set of chemicals called anthocyanins? Leaves only make anthocyanins in the fall when there is a high concentration of sugars and a lot of sunlight. If you've ever wondered why some years have better red leaves than others, it is due to the delicate balance of conditions needed to produce the perfect red. Warm evenings reduce the sugar concentration in leaves too quickly, so cool evenings and bright sunny days produce the brightest red leaves in autumn due to the unique combination of sunlight and sugars in the leaves. In our activity today, we'll be preserving leaves in wax paper. But why is this necessary? Just like other living things, plants need food and water to grow. Each leaf takes in water through its stem, but it also has a number of pores on the underside that allows it to let water and carbon dioxide out. When a leaf is no longer attached to its tree, it loses moisture, resulting in a dry and brittle leaf. In this activity, we'll be using heat to melt a little bit of wax from wax paper to create a protective layer around the leaf. Wax is a hydrocarbon, which can keep water from passing through it. Therefore, the leaf cannot lose any water, so it stays flexible and bright for longer. For this activity, you'll need the following supplies. A clothes iron and an adult to help you operate it, at least two towels, scissors, wax paper, and a variety of your favorite leaves. For best results, try to find leaves that are flat, dry to the touch, have no bumps or spots. We'll be making a sandwich out of our supplies. To make our sandwich, let's first lay down a towel on a table or other flat surface. On top of the towel, place one large piece of waxed paper. Next, arrange your leaves on the waxed paper in a single layer so that they are not overlapping each other. Make sure to leave lots of room around each leaf for best results. Continuing our sandwich, we're going to completely cover the leaves in another large piece of waxed paper. Then, we're going to add one more towel on top of the waxed paper to complete our sandwich. Now, with adult help, we're going to heat our iron to a medium temperature. We don't want it too hot. Once the iron is heated, your adult can iron the sandwich you just put together. 
You'll want to iron for about two to four minutes to ensure that the heat transfers through the layers. Check after three minutes or so and repeat until the wax paper seals around each leaf. Once that's complete, let the wax paper cool and remember to unplug your iron. Now that everything is nicely cooled, let's take a closer look at our preserved leaves. It's up to you how you want to display your preserved leaves. You can hang the sheet of leaves in the window as a colorful light catcher, or you can cut around the leaves, making sure to leave a border all around the leaf so the wax paper stays sealed. With your cutout leaves, you can use them as a fun bookmark, or hang the individual leaves in the window or other rooms as a cool decoration. I hope you enjoyed learning about why leaves change colors in autumn and had fun preserving leaves with me. Now it's your turn to get out into nature and be a curious scientist. What trees in your neighborhood are turning red, orange, yellow, or are there still trees that are green? Do you have a favorite tree with a favorite color? Let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.